Hey guys, it's Rad from Rad Crochet. So you might know me from my Instagram or Reddit or YouTube or Facebook. So uh, today I thought I'd do a video on things that I'm going to sell at my craft fair tomorrow. I thought I'd film this video today before my stock is potentially sold tomorrow. And the purpose of this video is just to give you an idea of what you can create, what you can sell and so on. So let's begin with item number one. So firstly, I've made these adorable donut key rings. They were super fun and super easy to make. I've got a tutorial for these on my YouTube channel and I've just gone ahead and priced them up as well for tomorrow's fair. But you guys should definitely attempt this. They are so quick to make and they're super fun and you can play around with all these colors. So that's item number one. Let's move on to item. So item number two are these adorable ice cream key rings. And I also loved making these. I've got seven of them made and I've put them into key rings and just priced them up at home. I haven't used any fancy tags or anything, just printed a label and stuck it onto a piece of card. So uh, with my ice creams, I've included different sorts of sprinkles. I've got ones with chocolate and these colorful ones. So I'm ho also hoping that these sell. So let's move on to item number three, I think it was. And item number three are these phone socks. And I've created them in so many colors, uh, lots of blues and stuff. And again, I've priced them myself, just printed off a sticker and stuck it on. So I've got them in lots of colors, like so. And I'm so excited to see if these will be popular or not. At my previous craft fair, I did take two of these phone socks and they sold out pretty quickly. So here's fingers crossed for these phone cases. So I think we're now on to number four. So number four are these jars that I made. And I did a crochet and bought a applique from Amazon, which I ironed on. So I have five of these jars. And they are in different styles and patterns because then they'll appeal to different people. So I'm hoping they sell well. I'm advertising them as, oh, I haven't got the label on there, but as stationary jars. And when I display them at my craft fair, I'm going to put some flowers on them. So be like flower vases. So um, I've never really sold these before at craft fairs. So I'm really hoping that someone might like them and purchase one or two. So let's move on to the next item. So the next one is cheap and cheerful. They're bookmarks for a pound and they've got lovely beads on them. And I've got them in all different colors. Here's a pattern and I've got a big one as well. So I'm selling them for a pound each because they were super quick to make and they look pretty. So I'm hoping they're like quick win sells. Uh, it will appeal to children and adults because everyone reads. So I'll give you an update on how I sell these uh, when I make my next video. So this next one is a bit difficult to show on my camera, but I'll try my best. It's these um, boho wrap bracelets. Now when they're on your wrist, they look so good. And I've got a tutorial for these as well. And I've actually got a tutorial on my YouTube channel for most of the things I've shown in this video today. But uh, yeah, so I bought the beads and I show how to put them on and they look so gorgeous. I've made some for myself because I like to wear them. And I'm hoping that other people really like these too. So my next one are these hairbands. The idea is that when you put them on your hair, on your ponytails, it looks like um, some braids coming down with beads. I got inspiration for these from um, Pinterest, yeah. And I bought these beads from local hobby craft and I think they just look so stunning. If you had two little buns and you had two matching ones, it would look so adorable. So I'm hoping this goes down well with the uh, children. That'll be at the one final one. It's not a crochet item, but my sister does some felt crafts. So I thought I'd um, get some of her felt crafts and sell them at my store. It's a little ice cream she did. And um, I took these to my last craft fair and I sold so many of them. They were a great hit. So I'm taking more with me this time. I've got 18 of these in total. So I'm sure they'll be great sellers as well. 
very last thing I have is my favorites. I wonder if I can get the camera to focus. These are my crochet necklaces and honestly they are so adorable and they look so minimum and minimum minimal and cute and they're just so tiny. They've been very popular um, on online and to local customers. So I'm hoping when um, I take them to the craft fair for the first time that they will sell well as well. So I'm being very optimistic about this craft fair. Leave a comment below in the comment box if um, you want me to give a review of how the craft fair went, what sold well, what didn't sell well. And also, like I said, nearly all the things that I've shown you I've done a tutorial for on my YouTube page so please check that out as well and thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you want more again let me know in the comment section below